Hello, this is Derek Tebbers, and this is your Flight Simulator X Mod Spotlight. Hello, and welcome to this very special, well, not really very special, but a special Mod Spotlight for Flight Simulator X. What we're talking about here is how to install mods. I had a couple people asking me, how do I do this? How do I install mods in Flight Simulator X? Um, farming Sim is really easy. There's only three major methods of doing it. Flight Sim is hard. <laughs> it's not hard, but it's very complex. It's, there's a lot going on um, and a lot to remember and it really depends on the mod authors. So I have three mods here. Um, we'll deal with two of these mods in future mod spotlights. This other one is um, just for the sake of pretty. Um, so let's start with that one. So this KTEX, um, I don't have a link for this one because I actually got it out of the uh, the CD from the PC Pilot magazine. Just search for Telluride Airport on Simviation. You'll probably find it nonetheless. Um, so where Farming Sim uses the zip files, Flight Sim does not. So Flight Sim, you actually have to move it into your various folders. So for KTEX, I'm going to extract it. You can extract it with your usual Windows extractor. I just like 7-zip because, because. So now the important thing to do is always go into it and go directly to the README. I, I can't say how important it is to read the README. You can't get away with just assuming. So it actually tells us exactly what to do. We're going to copy ride the Telluride KTEX folder to our scenery folder. So let's do that first. So we have the Telluride KTEX and here we have a scenery folder there. Now, I do have a problem with this because scenery often throws, for some reason, sometimes you end up with add-on scenery, right? So we're actually going to put this in the add-on scenery. I might screw this up, and if so, I might cut this. But then again, I might not. I might just let you see me screw it up. <laughs> but we're going to take Telluride into our add-on scenery, scenery folder. There. Now we're going to put the effects into our effects folder. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go all the way back to my Flight Simulator X, go into my effects folder, and go into effects. I'm just going to take this stuff and I'm going to drag it into the base effects directory like so. And then there's a texture. I'm just going to go into texture, go into texture, drag those in. Now what I usually do is I keep whatever is already in my folder. So if it ever tells me you already have this, I keep what's already there because I know that works. So I don't often overwrite things that are already there. You could overwrite things. So now um, I should copy my KTEX Alt BGL file to my scenery world scenery folder. So we're going to go back to Simulator X, go to scenery, voomp world scenery and we're going to go to ktex and we're supposed to take our afx ktex alt blg oops not like that like that and drop it in there so now in theory we're going to see the alternate scenery for telluride airport now let's launch flight simulator and see if it is in our little thing, uh, games, flight sim. All right, come on, flight sim. There we go. Building database for new scenery files. Might take a few moments. Um, always dependent on your system. Didn't take me very long. So now, if I go into my settings, and it even tells you this this particular help file even tells you what to do. I'm going to run it. I'm going to go to my settings, to my scenery library, and add an area. So, settings, scenery library, add area. Now I'm going to go into my add on scenery, scenery, Telluride. Double click on the scenery folder. Say it, look for the Telluride KTEX folder. Double click on this folder. You'll see a texture in a scenery folder. Click on the open area outside the two folders. So, we're going to go into the KTEX. And we're going to click OK. Maybe. Did it just take or did it just screw with me? Let's, oh, there it is, right there. Tell your ride. 
KTEX, priority one. So it's ready to roll. Now if we were to go and launch the game, which I will do and we'll look at it, we'll see the Telluride texture. You can come in here and remove the Telluride texture just by removing that. So I'll launch this game first with the Telluride texture disabled. Then we'll launch again with Telluride enabled, or the senior texture enabled, and we'll see the difference between the two. So uh, hold on while we do our load times. All right, here we are at Telluride Airport in a, uh, in a helicopter. A helicopter. All right, so, um, so <laughs> some problems. Apparently Telluride's airport uh, is snowed in today. <laughs> so I turned off the scenery texture, which often can cause problems when you do that. Um, I'm really scared of flying helicopters, by the way, so this will be a really short video. But this is scenery texture off after we had applied it. So you do have to be careful. You have to be careful because we've lost our runway in the snow. Um, so that is something that I'm aware that that happens. Once you apply a texture, sometimes things don't look as pretty as they should if you remove it. So we can see Telluride here. Well, nice, pretty Telluride Airport. There's not a heck of a lot going on. We've got a broken runway, which is our fault completely. Um, I should have actually done taken this shot before I applied it. but And then we've got the Telluride garages. The uh, garages. Derp. Hangers. And, um, God, I hate flying helicopters. <laughs> Whoever asked me to fly helicopters, you're just asking for me to die, is what you're asking for. Um, so we've got the basic Telluride airport. Okay, um, so we're, we're back, and um, my, my helicopter is acting really stupid. Hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. It's, it started flying because it actually was responding to some old commands that I had given it. Um, so here's our new Telluride airport. Um, all right, helicopter. There's cars going on the road down there. Um, hello. Okay, this is probably better to uh, get those out of the way. So here's our new Telluride Airport. Look how much nicer this airport is. Um, we've got a big a big uh, dome there. We've got some airplanes in the hangar. I mean, it is it is flat. Let's slow down. Uh, it's painted on, but <laughs> it still looks nice. We've got cars in a parking lot. We've got some Piper Cubs hanging out down there. Um, fire trucks, fuel, all kinds of goodies. So, and our runway is back, which is <laughs> important. Um, hello. Okay, whoa, hey, there's stuff over here, too. Oh, God, I'm gonna crash. Oh, crap, oh, crap. Okay, cut, cut, cut! Okay, so we've gotten the airport. We've gotten tell you right in there, um, we, and then we crashed. Yeah, of course we crashed. We always crash. Um, now we're going to deal with aircrafts, and again, the README file is the most important part of it. So I've got a, um, a DR1 here. I'm going to do the same starting steps. I'm going to extract this to a folder, and I'm going to immediately go in here and find my README. And it should be pretty easy. So, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. okay. So there's no special, and all I'm looking for is special things. Anything that's not special, I don't care about. So now we're going to go in here, and this, thankfully, has a setup. So this will make life really easy. I can double click on it, and then click next, and accept my license agreement. Um, uh, use column and profile, yeah, that's fine. Um, go into the right folder would be helpful. Not there, there. Flight Simulator at where were you trying to put it in the first place? Oh, you just wanted the Flight Simulator X folder there. That's where it is. Um, are you sure you wish to proceed? Not really. No. What are you doing, you crazy thing? Oh no, that's correct. Yes. D folder. Yes, that's fine. And next. And no, I don't want a shortcut on my desktop because that's stupid. And boom. Bosh done. Okay, so now when we launch Flight Simulator, which really needs to be in a different location so I can launch it faster. I love how it always changes my Windows 7 scheme. I don't like basic. Now when I hit my current aircraft, I should be able to see 
there is my aircraft. So I can choose any one of them. And there it is, really zoomed in. And I can go fly it. But we're not because I'm actually going to do a mod spotlight on this one. So there you go, you have to wait. Ooh, we phase right through. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so now we can close that one. Bye bye. All right, so now that one is easy. Uh, those are the easiest ones to install of all time. Thank you for flashing me back to my other color scheme. Now, I'm going to look at this alpha here. I honestly just grabbed these. I don't know if they actually have all the bits I need. Extract to alpha SE. Let's go ahead and alpha SE. Ah, yes. So this is the other one where we're not given an, a self-installer. We're given the plane as a separate directory. Now, I could extract, if I were to extract this into my Flight Simulator X directory, it would, I would then tell it to merge and it would merge it appropriately. So if I go all the way down to the alpha, I'm going to go down to my readme here. Nothing special here. And this is what confuses a lot of people, I think. I mean, it does say extract all to your root folder. Subfolders will be created automatically. That's true. I don't like to do that just because often I have a lot of mods running and I'm always afraid that something is going to get overwritten that I don't want overwritten. So I do it manually. So I know this alpha needs to go in a specific folder and it tells me if I follow the same tree, sim objects, airplanes to the alpha. So if I go into my flight simulator X and go to sim objects, airplanes, and now there is no alpha because the alpha is here. If I drag the alpha over, now I have my alpha. Now effects folder, I've got effects and texture just like we did when we were doing the Telluride. I'm going to go into my effects folder, I'll take this stuff, drag it over, and go into my textures, and drag it over. There. So now, when we go and launch Flight Simulator, there we go, Come on, Flight Simulator. There we go. Now I should be able to find this aircraft. Who knows what it is? What is this thing? Um, Royal Aircraft Factory. There we go. So we have some Royal Aircraft Factory. Now I'm going to choose that and click OK. And there we have a Royal Aircraft Factory SC.5A. Again, we're going to do a, a separate mod spotlight on these. So look for that in, in the future time. Um, but that's how you install and these scenery is probably the more complex because there's multiple steps to the process you have to put it into your directory and then you have to go and actually activate it within the game bringing your aircraft in can be complex depending on the aircraft that c5 galaxy that i did a spotlight on that was really complex to install because it actually has sub pieces to it um, the SR-71 was stupid hard to install for an aircraft that didn't work right. Uh, but the README file is really your best friend. If you don't use the README file, you're going to screw it up. As long as you're copying into the sim objects directory and the effects directory, you're not going to affect the, you shouldn't. I'm not going to say you're not, but you shouldn't affect the core game. Just don't delete things out of there that are that are part of the game itself. So let me go out of here, switch back to my other texture. Thank you. All. If I go to Flight Simulator X into Sim Objects, this A321, this Air Creation, those are from the game itself. So if I delete those, I'm going to lose my game aircraft. Um, and that can cause problems for missions because the game is going to look for that directory and look for that aircraft. As long as you don't delete those and you kind of keep track of what you have in here, you should be fine. So that's quick-ish <laughs> how to install a scenery pack, how to install a self-installer, which is that executable that we got for the, um, the DR1, which is the easiest to install in the whole world and how to install a slightly more complex uh, SE uh, which requires you to drag stuff in from another directory. If you have any comments go ahead and post them below. I can't 
guarantee I can help you with your mods. Um, if it doesn't work, I'm going to tell you to read the README file. If it still doesn't work, most of the README files will actually tell you who to contact to discuss what your problem is. That should be the first person you go to. If I can't see your screen, I can't help you. And I don't want to, I'm not tech support for you guys. I, I want to show you mods. I don't want to support, do tech support for you. But follow the steps in the README, do a Google search. You should be able to, to install any mod out there for Flight Simulator X. So until next time, spend air tubbers with a how to for Flight Simulator X mod installs. Bye.